is brought to you by A Space Games. This is a breakdown for you. Get what's popular, what's powerful, what's going on on the ladder. And this is, of course, brought to you in part as well by Ink Gaming. And I want to tell you a little bit about a promotion that we've got going on with Ink Gaming right now to celebrate our new merchandise going up on the store. So these three designs that we have right here, Mathis for Blockers, of course, one that comes from Eternal, and then we have two designs here that are uh, more uh, artifact-related and Dota-related, of course, drawn by a good friend of mine named Anger Mania. You can see a link to her channel below. But these designs are going to be up onto the website for Ink Gaming starting tomorrow as this is released on November 2nd. But uh, we actually are running a contest that you can win one of these mouse pads by entering into the, the contest. That's It's linked below and uh, fill this out. And you, all you need to do is follow us on Twitter, visit our Facebook page, and subscribe to us on YouTube. And while you're at it, you can also join into the Discord channel as well. So all of those things are below. But let's get right into talking about the tier list. So before we begin, I should just let you know a bit about how I put this together. First, I survey top players to give their opinions on what they think is good and popular in the metagame. The ones who I surveyed this month were Dr. Pringles, the Overmaster, Cranky Panda, and Grim Fan. And I also raffle off a $5 Steam gift card, and Dr. Pringles was the one who won it for this month, so congratulations to him! Also, you can check out the whole article that has suggested deck lists and more details with some of the methodology. So that's linked below as well, so go check that out. First, I also want to talk about power versus popularity. I, I actually survey both separately, given the fact that these are both important, different concepts to keep in mind. I also told these players that they should ignore fun, they should ignore complexity, and they should try to amalgamate their opinions of both tournament and ranked play. So that'll give you the information of what's going on here. But let's get into talking about power. What are the decks that are the most powerful? Tier 1, we have Haunted Highway and FJS Midrange as the only Tier 1 decks this month. Tier 1.5, we had Rakano Midrange, Clear Mask, Combray Aggro, West Wind Herald Combo, Feln Midrange, and Skycrag Aggro. Tier 2, we had Feln Scream, Big Combray, Stone Scar Aggro, Praxis Tokens, Argentport Midrange. Tier 3 was Argentport Control, Big Xenon, TJP Control, Praxis Midrange, Xenon Midrange, Elysian Midrange, Huru Midrange, Rakano Aggro, and TJP Blitz. Tier 4 was Ikaria Blue, Felon Control, Kennedins, and JPS Control. So a few comments on what we learned from that. First, Haunted Highway and FJS Midrange were both rated unanimously as top tier decks by all of the players. I don't think we've seen a top tier ranking unanimous in any of the previous tier lists up until now. Both of these decks made that, so they were very clearly a tier above the rest of the field in the eyes of the players who were ranking them. It's probably, you know, fitting that over the uh, the Halloween edition of this, the Haunted Highway deck, and then the Cookbook, the Cauldron Cookbook deck were the ones that did the best, so that's just a funny little bit of, uh, of irony there. But if you want to talk about really spooky stuff, let's talk about how time is doing it. They are tanking. They are dying. They're being slaughtered to the point that even the TJP Flyer Midrange deck was eliminated from the tier list for this month because it just wasn't you know, anywhere to be found. So they have been hit very hard by nerfs that weren't even directed at them. This is probably what you see when Madness Combust becomes a top-tier deck, though. So now, let's talk about popularity. What is showing up on the ladder? Tier 1, we have Haunted Highway, FGS Midrange, and Skycrag Aggro. Tier 1.5, Combray Aggro, Felon Scream, Felon Midrange, and Rakano Midrange. Tier 2, Praxis Tokens, Talir Mask, Argentport Midrange, Argentport Control, and TJP Control. Tier 3, we had Big Combray, Big Xenon, Stone Scar Aggro, West Wind Herald Combo, Praxis Midrange, Rakano Aggro, Xenon Midrange, and Canadens. And Tier 4 was Felon Control, Akari Blue, Huru Midrange, JPS Control, TJP, Blitz, and Elysian Midrange. Once again, we have Haunted Highway and FGS Midrange reaching the top of the rankings. 
Uh, not huge surprise on the Haunted Highway thing, but on FGS Midrange, I just want to quickly note that on my most recent podcast, I noted that the deck wasn't seeing a whole lot of play, and that was just last week, and since then, it has exploded in popularity. I think largely to do, though, of course, with the finish that it had in the ETS event this past weekend, and just people more catching onto the deck. Also, time is way down in terms of the relative popularity, but I mean, that can largely be explained by what's going on with their overall power level. Now, let's talk about the underrated decks. These are decks where the power ranking was higher than the popularity. There were a couple decks that fit this description. Westwind Herald Combo was the biggest one. If you haven't had a chance to play this deck yet, I, I think it's the real deal. Uh, when I first saw it, you know, it, I didn't really th take it very seriously. Then it won an ETS event this past weekend. And the deck, I really think it's very strong. So almost has done a wonderful job with it. I think there might be even more room to improve it further. But uh, this deck uh, is one to watch, I think, in the near future. Also, Big Combra is uh, probably the time deck that has the most going for it right now, while a lot of other ones have been really struggling. This is one that the team uh, basically identified as maybe being a little bit better than people realize and uh, overreacting to how bad time in general has been. Now, if those are the underrated decks, let's talk about the overrated decks. These are, of course, decks where the power level was less than the popularity. The two that fell into this category was first Skycrag Agro. Um, I think this was really popular last week and it's just taking a while for it to kind of come down as people are learning to better play against it with things like the FJS deck. So as that's been kind of gumming up, maybe the Skycrag has been going down, so that might be why it's still overplayed a little bit. The other deck is also Archiport Control. In some ways, a similar space. I think of this deck, uh, I've never really been a big fan of this style of deck, but especially the current iterations of FGS mid-range control league type decks, they have so much game against this and do most of the same stuff just better than them, so I can understand why this is sort of overrated right now uh, and overplayed right now. And I just don't like any deck that plays for Sword of the Sky King, which is the case in, in some of these variants. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is, of course, brought to you by A Space Games. I also just want to encourage you all who stick around to the end of the video, come and join us at A Space. You can come work with us. Uh, there's information below about joining up with A Space Games and getting guest articles on the site. Some of my regular writers are not going to be able to write as much over the course of the next couple of months. So I would love to have some people contributing. And then if your stuff does well, you can come on as a full-time writer. And that would be lovely. Uh, and then, of course, I want to thank Ink Gaming, who is sponsoring us in all the various ways. And also remind you, before you leave, make sure that you check out that contest that I was talking about that can give you that free mouse pad. So with that, that'll be everything for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care, everybody.